Welcome to Outdoor Life, my name is Ian, this is my son Rowan and today we're shooting some pigeons. Hope you enjoy it. So just going to show you what we're shooting over today. This is a field of oilseed rape, quite a large field and the pigeons have been flying into it, down into this corner and eating quite a bit of it. It's at quite a crucial stage at the moment. Just not long through the ground. So the farmer's, farmer's quite keen to, to keep them off it. Okay, so we'll give it a go and see what happens. Some decoys. Right now we're going to put some alert pigeons up. Ones that are being alerted to something. These will shift about and move in the wind and create movement for the pigeons, other pigeons to see. That will attract them in. Here's a layout of our pigeon hide. We've got some uh, decoys over here that are uh, going to attract the pigeons in. This is going to be our um, this is going to be the land where they um, this is going to be the landing strip where they come into land. And we're going to be in that hide over there. I'll show you that in a second. But quite a lot more decoys here. We've got some alert ones to show that they're looking at something. Could be up here. Uh, and this is our hide. Got some straw to hide it more. Blends in with the cover nicely. So we've been here for about half an hour now. There's not much happening. Uh, this is the farmer, where the farmer wanted us to go. Um, but we did see some pigeons elsewhere. So we'll give it another half an hour here and then try somewhere else. Okay, so there's not very many pigeons coming over, so we thought we'd talk a bit about the equipment that we're using. So this is a 12 bore over and under uh, Beretta Silver Pigeon uh, sporting version. Uh, we've got half and three quarter chokes in. Cartridges we're using, um, they're RC Sipe uh, 32 gram 6 fibre wads because there are some cattle and, and sheep uh, on this farm so we tend to use fibre wads on all our farms. Uh, Rowan's using uh, coughs uh, over and under 410 ejector. It's, uh, he's also got uh, an 18 gram magnum cartridge in that with a fibre wad. Uh, we might, might show you his gun later. Um, we've got Tilly here this is a seven year old Cocker Spaniel. Um, so yeah, we'll just, we'll get back to sitting waiting on these pigeons. I think we'll only give it another 10 minutes here and then go and try somewhere else. Okay.
So we'll just have a wee bit of lunch before we start the second half of our day. What's for lunch today, Rowan? Sandwiches. Crisps and our scotch egg. So that's the rain started. We're just about to start the second half of uh, the day, really. So we're going to take a walk across to this rundle here. It's quite a big one. Right in the middle of a stubble field. This is where I wanted to come this morning, but we thought we'd do our bit on the rape field for the farmer. They tend to use this, crows and pigeons use this as a flight line, so Owen's got some decoys under his arm. We're just going to pop some out at that corner of it, and he's just going to stand back in the trees, and then hopefully we'll get some using the trees to sit in at the same time and we'll hopefully get one or two so Rowan set up the decoys about 50 yards away just at the edge of the rundle you can't see me, he's just through those trees I'm having a stand just in the middle because often they come from all directions and sometimes, uh, sometimes sit up in these trees before they, they head off to feed so we're just keeping an eye out just now there's some flying over but they're a, a little bit too high just waiting in the rundle here there's a crow I've just missed it because I'm trying to video this and there's a Tilly sitting over there under the trees quite patiently waiting for someone to retrieve and oh, there goes another pigeon I should really stop talking and keep my eyes open here Okay, so we've managed to get one down. See if the wee dog will pick it up. Come on, fetch it up. Go back. Go back. Fetch it up. Go back, fetch it up. There, there. Fetch it here then. Good girl, good girl. Fetch it here, fetch it here. There, there we go. So there we are. Nice little wood pigeon. Finally got one. We'll go and see if we can get some more. Well, we've been here for about half an hour now. Um, We've got had a few shots. Uh, I've got one pigeon down. I just thought I'd show you um, what we've done at this other side. Um, they do use this this rundle here as a flight line. I know they traditionally won't you won't be feeding too much on stubbles at the moment. They're probably looking for uh, probably the oil sea grape. I would think. Um, but we've popped some decoys out here just to see if we can turn turn a few that are perhaps flying just past us and just out with range. Um, we didn't bother bringing the hide or anything like that. Uh, but what we've done, we've used this bush here and we can actually get... We can stand just in there. Which is, to be honest, providing a better hide than we could manufacture. So that's where Rowan spent most of his time. 
uh, and hopefully we'll it's gone pretty quiet but hopefully they'll start to move again shortly and we can maybe get a shot or two in fact there's one over there let's get tucked away again So it's still quite quiet, I just thought I'd show you Rowan's gun here. Um, so this is a 410, uh, which is really the smallest shotgun that you get. Um, but it's an over and under uh, multi choke, which is the little bin bits that go in the, the, the cylinders that screw in and out of the end so you can make it uh, a tighter pattern or a wider pattern. It's an ejector as well, so it'll eject the cartridges uh, once you've fired and they're empty. It's a three inch chamber, so it can take a cartridge, quite a long cartridge. Okay, what we use, I think I mentioned it earlier in the video. Uh, it's a 410 cartridge, obviously, 18 gram, it's a magnum fibre wad so we were using 14 gram non magnums but we felt they didn't just have quite enough punch so uh, as he's got older he's 11 now he's had this since he was he was 10 um, but he's had it for just over a year now but we have moved on to a slightly heavier cartridge and then he will move on to a 20 bore um, who knows when he'll get that but uh, maybe sometime pretty soon to be honest because he has grown an awful lot in his strength uh, increased so far uh, a fair bit this year okay but that's his there nice little gun it's a the coughs you can buy brand new um, for about 500 pounds uh, great little gun great little gun to start and uh, yeah shoots very well and he shot ducks with it crows with it uh, pigeons with it um, and yeah it does the job especially with a slightly heavier cartridge okay so it's been pretty quiet for about 45 minutes but the winds just started to get up and uh, there seems to be a few birds flying about pigeons jackdaws and um, that sort of thing so uh, hopefully we'll we're still on one pigeon at the moment uh, which isn't great but hopefully we'll uh, we'll put something else in the bag just shortly Right, Rowan, why don't we have a little look to see what this has been feeding on today. This is the last pigeon that we shot. What Rowan's doing, he's just opening up its crop. And look at that. Acorns. Absolutely full of acorns. A whole, whole crop full of them. It's amazing what they'll eat in the day. And that's part of the reason that we're, we're out here, uh, trying to keep them off the fields. Okay. That's us finished for the day. We've been here for about three hours. Nothing happening at the field lunchtime slash early afternoon. Uh, then we came across to the Rundle. We managed to get uh, a few shots in and a couple of pigeons. So hope you enjoyed the video and uh, we'll see you the next time.